As I think about God's view of the Isnog people, I think he is just smiling. He loves those people. My name is Kelly Chestnut, and I get to provide leadership to our staff in their spiritual formation. And I also serve alongside my husband, who serves as president and CEO of Wycliffe. So my husband and I came with a team so that we could participate in celebrating the Isnag Full Bible dedication. It's just a joy to see this language community have the full counsel of God's Word in a language that they best understand. Sixty-six years I waited for this whole Bible to come. I got to fly the first New Testament, the first printing of the New Testament here, June 24, 1982. The first 500 copies, flying it here as a pilot. It's just been exciting to see the, the culmination of that too. It's a privilege to be appointed by God to do the translation of your language. The Lord worked everything out for us, for the Isnag especially, and for His name. Everything He does is for His own glory and for His name's sake. We obey Him, and so His plan always get carried out. So while we were in Dabagat, a worship service actually set us up uh, before the dedication, the night before we entered into a time of worship, and it was so much fun. And then the next day, we actually came together in a celebration service in which we got to see and meet people from many different villages across the Isnag community. And it was just pure joy to see children and men and women coming together to celebrate receiving God's Word in their language. My heart is just like melting, you know what I mean? It's like bottom melting when I read in my own heart language. I really understand every single word that the Lord says in His Word. And I'm really excited to share that uh, what I felt when I read through all this uh, whole Bible in my heart language. We heard stories of transformation in the community in which people who had been part of the church for years, uh, there was one woman in fact that she was 63 or 64 and, and had just put her faith in Jesus for the first time two weeks before our arrival, and she got baptized the day of the celebration. It was such a neat experience to know that generations past had no word of God in their language, to having the New Testament at one point, to having that New Testament revised because language changes, uh, and then to have an Old Testament included now, and then to see children. So these children are being raised as the next generation in which they've never known not having God's Word in their language. When the Bibles were distributed after the celebration and the dedication, people stayed around for a long time so that they could get their turn waiting in line and uh, receiving their Word. Some were just clutching the Bible to their chests, and others immediately sat down and started opening their Bibles, and some were looking through it, and others went straight to Old Testament passages. So seeing the response of the community, priceless. Now that the Bible is uh, full now in our heart language, we are praying that we are able to distribute the Bible into all Isnags, and um, not only distribute, but doing evangelism, helping them to read uh, the Bible in their own heart language. Now that the uh, translation is done, I want to continue the ministry, especially in helping the people uh, see Christ in the Old Testament. I just love the work so much, and it's become my life. I told them actually some time ago, God gave me to you, and I'm here for good. It's amazing to see what God has done, but the impact of the Word coming to the East Coast. I'm just so excited, and I marvel in awe. I say, God, this is it. I think one of the things I'm going to leave this time with is just the reminder of the value of God's Word. I already know it's valuable, uh, but sometimes we can become overly familiar with something and we lose sight of the value. Uh, and Every time I go to a dedication, 
it always reminds me of the precious treasure that we have in God's Word.